Welcome to Tantrums and Tabletops. Today we're playing Betrayal at House on the Hill. So today we're going to be playing as a group of explorers going to venture into the dark, mysterious house on the hill, where we are going to discover that one of us has got a hidden agenda, and we're going to be trying to take out the remaining dudes. Who's no, it going to be? I don't know. It's not planned. It's not planned in advance. <laughs> it probably is going to be Tom. While Ethan's unpacking a million pieces of this box, let's have a quick word from Heroes. So, very much like Mansions of Madness in the way that we are going to pick from pre-selected characters, each of them will have a different balance of sort of physical and mental abilities. Uh, each character card is also double-sided, so uh, if you want to play as Markiplier, you can, <laughs> if you want to. I'm going to play as Markiplier. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, so, yeah, take a little look through and uh, say, see who you like, and we will get the tokens in. Uh, I think I will play... As is it Matrix video games. Mr. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh. Do you start on the green colour uh, for the um the You do, yeah. So yeah. once you select, they're different on both okay, sides, right. but once you select you'll put it to the green colour. I color. think I'm gonna go with Oliver Swift. Famously Taylor Swift's older brother. <laughs> uh, what what <laughs> colour are you? Red. I think I will be Issa Valencia. What is the colour, please? Yellow, please. Hobbies, depressing music and blogging. It's kind of like that being on this nice. channel. Simone, as you think it's nice. I've got to have a look. Looks like you just have a thing. Nice. Uh, who will I be? At your... Oh, you're green, are you? I could be. I might be. Oh, okay. On your turn. I will be this beatbox Bowen. I'm going to be Sammy Angler. So. Sure. Hobbies are magic tricks and video games. His arcade high score is 2,433,000. That's 221. How, how come have you got that much like information? I'm just philosophy running and my mile time is 4 minutes 54. That's because Sammy Anger is a badass. Of course, the character's chosen. So, first things first, this game has 50 what they call haunt roles. So 50 different scenarios that can happen. They are predetermined depending on which of these cards we pick, which is the reason why we are at the house. Something really cool they added for the third edition. So I'll read through them for you. We can have a little select what we're okay. going to choose. So we can either be a group of paranormal investigators, a ragtag team, all here because there's something wrong with the house. But what? Bad plan, I reckon. Uh, cursed! You've all been cursed! You've got to find a way to fix things, and fast. There must be something in this house that can break the curse. A strong gay disappearance. One of your friends has disappeared. Some amateur sleuthing. That's the correct word. Puts there. <laughs> <laughs> Last known location at the house. For sale. This old house is a real fixer-upper, but the price is right. Some of you are prospective buyers, but others are here because the open house has free food. <laughs> the realtor looks glad to have any visitors at all. And finally, a mysterious invitation. Each of you receives a mysterious letter inviting you to the house. You're beginning to regret the choice you made in accepting that invitation. Ooh. I really quite like the first one. Yeah, the first, first one sounds could, good. Uh, what, like with Scooby-Doo? No, you could pretend that we're a YouTube channel. What, no, we, we do no, pretend we're a Breaking the fourth wall! No, no that sounds like with Scooby-Doo. So, first things first, we're all going to arrive 
on the board in the entrance hall first room, you can move up to your speed. Should we be facing this way? How many squares no. are in a car? Entrance hall is that way, right? each, So one one movement is one of these individual squares. Oh. And each of the rooms is this. So they're kind of like um, Match the Madness, where the zones. Mm -hmm. Sort of, but each zone is just one single yeah. card, apart from so, the, the start. So going from there is one movement. But when you're discovering rooms like we are now at the start of the game, you stop your movement when you discover a new room. Just like you're in the basement being here, it needs to be closed. Just like in here, I thought you were going to say real life. Just like in real life, <laughs> you immediately stop moving when you go into a new room. But yes, and you for yeah, so it needs to it needs to be populated basically. It does. Okay, thank you. Right, we've got our characters set up. The board is set up. Simon's being a great guy. Uh, the great guy. Let's go. How do we start? So. Uh, who do wants we, to go first? Tell do, me. Do we, do we roll to see who goes first, or is it just you do nothing of the sort? I think we go that way because that's what we usually do in Heroes yeah. Fast. Okay, so it's going over to you. It's going this way across the screen, and this way, and this way, like a Mexican wave. I am <laughs> in the hallway. Cool. Now continue to move until you discover a room. <laughs> oh, you didn't say that. I'm looking. Around. Remember when I said you keep moving until you discovered a new room? No. <laughs> but could you not look at these doors that are going off? There's two doors. This, uh, I mean, I honestly didn't think they were going to be this bad, guys. Um, yeah. What's been so it seemed obvious like, to me that there was a door there. Yeah, There's so a stairwell. There are doors and stairs. You can go into them. And when you do, and you discover a room, that's the end of that. Oh, I hey, see. sorry. Yeah, I'm going to turn right into yeah. this doorway here. Lovely. So, on the stack of cards, some of them will be listed as either upper or ground, some will be only one floor. Select whichever is the top card that applies to yours. So that can be upper or ground. So there you go. So now, put that down so that one of, at least one of the doors in that room matches up with the door. Okay. Um, sure. Sorry. So we've got the primary bedroom, a very common thing to have immediately next to your front door. Um, so, it's very there European. you go. Yes, true. So, is there a symbol on that? Now, there is a symbol on that. It's a symbol of the crow, which is an omen. So this is sort of the main way that this game functions. When you encounter an omen, we're going to make a roll with these dice. And at some point, something's going to happen where the horn will begin. I've forgotten what it is now, because they <laughs> changed it in this version. It used to be that you rolled the amount of dice equal to the amount of omens you've discovered, and once you get more than a certain number, the horn begins. They don't do that now. One sort of weird thing about this game I've got to say in this version is they've made it so you're supposed to do a roll, but on the first two omens discovered, you cannot possibly start it because you don't have enough. So right. You need to roll more than five with your total number of dice. Obviously, if you start with one what dice... What my total number of dice? How many omens you've discovered. So I first of all, you're going to roll one dice. Okay. Now, you can only get one, two, or three, or none. None, two, or three. Does he need to take an omen card? You do. I just saw that on the character oh. reference sheet. Oh. Very good. Thirty-one, twos on How do you get three? Okay. So, one, two, or zero. Jesus Christ. Each time you discover an omen card, you roll another dice. So first of all, you will roll one and you can only get one yeah. or two. When you discover a second one, you will roll two dice and you can get many combination of numbers. <laughs> the more you ro get, the more dice you roll, therefore, the more likely you are to begin the horn the further the game goes on. Don't forget, if you get a Wicked Wango card, you go all the way to the mystical jungle. Absolutely. People who have never seen Friends won't know what you're talking about. I, I don't care. I thought it was funny anyway. Right. I've never, I don't have any friends. So. <laughs> Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> so so, so, so do I, I've got one. So he needs an omen card. So I need an omen you do. card. No, I'm not going to do that. Do I read the omen card You do, now? you read it out loud, eh, please? Holy symbol, a silver symbol that glows in the dark. Add one to the result of your sanity roll. Whenever you discover a tile, you may choose to bury it and discover the next tile instead. If you do, do not resolve any effects for the first tile. When this card is drawn, make a haunt roll. Ignore this roll if the haunt has already begun. What is a haunt? 
a haunt is the situation which is going to happen eventually in this. It's the mission. So, yeah. Right. Someone's going to be a baddie, a bad bitch. Um, and when that happens, so I'm at, I, bad bitch. Do I still roll or do I straight away add my to my sanity score? So you don't change your sanity score on the card, you add it to the rolls if you have to make a sanity roll. We'll come to that a little bit later. Right, do I um, hold on to this card? You keep that, yeah, you keep that. So do you have to make a roll still now, even though we're not... Yeah, absolutely. Wow, you one. didn't get five. What a surprise. <laughs> um, the game continues. <laughs> I can love this game already. Yeah. Alright, so it's my turn, right? Uh, so I... Is, is, as a team, are we sticking together on this, or are we all going to go off and explore separately? I think that's going to factor into this. Are we going to roleplay this, being a paranormal investigative unit? I don't have the mental capacity to play games. <laughs> How many women are in this team? Which one's Daphne? Right, I'm, I'm in a women. This room here. <laughs> so I need to find the first card that is lower Either ground. Either upper or ground, yeah. So that one can be a ground floor tile, so put it down so that one of the doors on the card lines up with one of those doors there. Um, Not all of them will be able to match all other rooms. Uh, what is that? The, I mean, the guest quarters has got a event. It does, so you get to read this event card. Oh, so the flowering. A giant colourful flower <laughs> takes up an entire wall. Its petals bloom into a large open pathway. Take one general damage. Place your explorer on any, on any basement or ground floor tile. If the conservatory tile has been discovered, you must place your explorer there. So I stay on this ground floor tile? Yeah, you do. Um, and I now have to obviously, take it talked about a certain type of damage there. What did it say? One general damage. General damage. Um, so you have two different types of damage that can be split into four categories. You've got, again, very much like Mansions of Madness. Check out some of those videos if you haven't seen them already. Oh, I'm nice in this. Um, so... <laughs> Composure. So, oh, um. <laughs> So, there are two types of damage yep. split into four subcategories. Yep. Physical damage, where you can take it against your speed or your might, or mental damage that you can take against your knowledge or your sanity. Okay, you elect which... You do elect. General, you can take against any of the four. Um, you'll notice that eventually you're going to get down to a red number and then a skull on your character cards. When you get to a skull, that is your character dead. So you can try and is split that it between on any step, any stat, yeah. any stat. So if you get to a stage where you are at the red number of both your might and your speed, if you take physical damage, you have to have it against one of those two, so you will die. So you can split it as much as you like until the point where you're dead, so, and then you're dead. So general damage can be split on any of these four stats. Yeah, general. And I'm damage. assuming there would will be attacks that will go to a specific stat. You are damn right. <laughs> so I'm going to take that on my speed, because it's the one I have the highest on. Good chat. So You'll I'll notice as well down. that sometimes you move your numbers up or down and it stays the yeah. same number, but it means that you can take one more of those damage. Does this go back in the pile? Or do I keep yes, on? Yes, we'll get rid of that. Thank I you. don't think you have any need for flowering, do you? Not no more. Hey, hey, hey. It's in the, uh, the box says this mission should take 45 minutes, and I think we're about six hours in already, so uh, thanks for sticking with us so far. Uh, yes, it is my go, thank you. Um, hmm, I'm a little boy. Where should I go? I'm going to run upstairs, guess what the little boys would do? Because we're excited. One, two, three. Uh, you would move on to the stairs. Oh, that's there. No, don't there. Oh, sorry, three. <laughs> can I go to another room now? You can. <laughs> okay, I am going to go. To the right. Bink. So you need the first up. Take it back now, y'all. You do so. Any of the ones that aren't that go to the bottom. Up so ground. all of those go to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, you go up a ground. So put that in, in the room you're on. Oh, the junk oh, room. The junk room stuff happens here. So please read what happens on the card when you're in the junk room before I give you this item. This says something on the card. Oh, when you discover this tile, place an obstacle token on it. I will find that whilst you read. Your item card. I have the angel's feather. Holding it gives you a feeling of peace. When you are required to make a trait roll, you may instead bury the angel's feather. If you do, choose a number from zero to eight. Use that number as a result of the required roll. You still apply any relevant bonuses, such as those gained from items. Clear? <laughs> Not really. I'm sure the viewers loved you reading that with a rustling bag in the background. <laughs> 
Was that me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rosalie Beck. Uh, I have a question. I hate this fella. He says, whenever you discover a tile, you may choose to bury it. What's a tile? This isn't that too on the line too. So you pop it at the bottom so of the tile. pile, right, and take yeah. the next one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the tile pile. I've got a really bad case of tiles. Pass. <laughs> It's your go. My go, Cule. I am going to go. I think I'm going to join you up the stairs. I'm going to... What's my movement? I'll probably stop trying to move the table. Uh, my movement is three, so I might not go upstairs because I can't really reach. Can you just leave the front door and win? No, <laughs> you can't. That's no. What you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay there because I can't move any further than that. So. You move free, is that it? Yeah, my movements. Hey, I'm move slow. My go. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a right out of the primary bedroom until here. Lovely, yeah, you yeah. go. Is it upper or ground? Ground. Yeah, sorry. No, it's upper ground, so it's not that. No, 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 no. So that really? can be upper or ground. That's, that's what I just the asked. Yeah. It is indeed where the lights are. How's that? It's bloody clever, that is. It's good, that's that. And I was arranging them all early, do you remember? <laughs> I remember that. Did you even do those? Upper ground and ground and... Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there a flashback to what you're doing? There is a swirly symbol on my The swirly symbol is an event. Okay, please take one. Pass it on. A dozen wax figures are sitting at a fully set table. A seat has been reserved for you. Make a knowledge or sanity roll. Five plus gain one speed, zero to four take one general damage. So, what is your knowledge or sanity? Um, I'll probably go with the I'm highest. I'm gonna go with four. So, you roll four dice? Four, four dice, sweet. Uh, five. That was terrible, I got that two. That was pretty bad. <laughs> so take one to general, uh, zero to four, you take one general damage, you spit out a mouthful of wax. So, I'm going to Tasty. wax, he says. Put my speed <laughs> down one. There we go. Sweet. I'll pass you that card back. Thank you. So, for my turn, I can move five. Five. I can move five too. Five fifty-two. Yeah, fifty-two. Fifty-two. So far. I'm so far. Going in there. Take this card. I have the library. When you discover this tile, gain one knowledge. And there is also a omen on there. Oh, hiddly biddly widdly. So, <laughs> read your omen card, Why please. Why you keep putting doors into nowhere? No, it's, there's doors at every... Okay. Yeah, that's that, cool. Otherwise, well, you're going to walk into a wall. Yeah, no, you, you can only Tom go... the same here, like, you can't walk into a wall. Dude. You can only go through a door if it leads to another door. Ah. Well, now it's possible. Now it's possible. See, otherwise it's going to make it smaller. Right? So, oh sorry, I'm my girlfriend always says. <laughs> oh, I... Speaking of which, I got the dagger. <laughs> hey, have I made a mis- Sorry, have I made a mistake here? Because I put that card there, but there's a door here, so there's nothing connected. No, we just said that. that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. matter. Yep, matters. So I'd have turn to turn that it. around like that. I'd have to put smash it that way. Okay, so I can only now go back this way. Yeah. So fun. you will sometimes find that doors lead to nowhere, but you can only go from one tile to another when there is a door on both tiles. Right. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's fine. Um, so, the dagger, weapon. It smells sharply of blood. Your blood. When you use the dagger to attack, lose one speed, roll two extra dice on the attack. You may only use one weapon per attack. You may not trade a weapon during the same turn that it was used for an attack. When this card is when this card is drawn, make a haunt roll. Ignore this roll if the haunt has already begun. So I have a weapon now. Well, it hasn't. You do. But I roll but at great cost. One dice for a haunt. You roll two because we've had two omens. Cow surprise. Nothing happens. Cows are who? Yes. Simon's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um. Right. Where am I going to go? It costs two moves to. Oh, I okay, guess so I've got to use two to get out of that room. Mm. Hmm. So if I go one, two, and leave that way, I'll sneak around the hallway and go this way. Love it. Find an upper floor, please. All the other ones go to the bottom part. It's almost as if you put them on the same window or something. Yeah, but whoever shuffled them did a <laughs> good job. Oh, look, that one's a triple threat. Oh, a triple threat. Oh, it's a cramped passageway. <laughs> some X-Lax Any jokes, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got an event. 
Uh, you do. I'm gonna Yoink! Do I reset that? Yeah, you, you got it. The house is hungry. There is a rumbling all around you, like an empty stomach. If the horn is not started, you may make a horn roll. Ooh. Ten, five plus ten to horn twelve in the traitor's turn. So I haven't done that horn yet. I'm a bit confused because I don't know if you should roll two or three dice because this isn't an omen card. No, that's, that's why I get two because we've had two omens so make, far, right? So I can't, you can't make five. Can't make five, so you can skip it if you want. So you can do, do it. If the haunt has started, or if you choose not to make a haunt roll, gain one in any trait. I'm doing that. I would gain a trait then, please. Yeah, you, you can. Could I have a? Um, I'm going to go for might, I think, because I'm pretty. If you enter, if you re-go back into a room that has an omen in it, you have to take another omen card again. No, it's only, it's so you only get only the item or anything upon discovery. Absolutely no correct. problem. Sure, sure go. Oh, what lovely. I'm going to go into the cramped passageway with some and I'm going to go this way, please. Do you want that one? I would love that one. It's, oh, sh it's the <laughs> Mystic Elevator. Oh! <laughs> so something we're going to discover pretty quickly about this game is getting to the basement is a pain in the ass. Uh, this allows you to get to different floors, but only by rolling dice. So, once per turn, when you enter this tile, you can roll two dice. Move the Mystic Elevator to an open doorway on and then it will either say any region, upper floor, ground floor, or basement. Oh, so, cool. I'm going to roll two. And I got literally nothing, which means I go to the basement. So please, can you move my character and this tile to the basement? Oh, so we can't get to the basement now because you're in it. Uh, and the elevator. Yeah, any door you want to be on, or does it not matter? Anything's fine. So you could actually have a little party in the basement with us? I could. Cool, can you keep moving? Oh, are you still in the basement or are you now in the ba uh, the elevator or are you now in the basement landing? I'll stay in the elevator because it's a new tile that I've yes. discovered, okay. so I'll stay there for now. I am going to move back through here into that room. I need a ground floor card. Mm -hmm. I am in a conservatory with a item, item card, please. Add one. Rabbit's fuss. Lucky for some, but not for others. It certainly wasn't lucky for the rabbits. Once during your turn, you may use the rabbit's foot to re-roll one die that you just rolled. That's a good one. Mm. That's a good one. I like the fact that they're not one-use cards either. So once mm. you find it, oh, it's an ongoing right. thing. It, That's really it's cool. an ongoing. So I can use it as many times as I want, or is it discard afterwards? It didn't say to no, discard. No, didn't say discard it. Yeah. So this one, this one has to be yeah. buried. After got so yeah, if it's buried, that's it done after you've used it. But that is do it once per turn. How many say. items can you hold? Oh man. Well, we basically all have the Batman belt that lets you hold tons <laughs> I can of hold four. Yeah. I can hold eight things. Right. Oh sorry, you're asking Tom. Oh, oh it's a great game. I can hold the full eight inches. <laughs> well you have me the whole game. It's Ben's goal. It's resting with your leg right now. Hey, hey, hey. Going there. See, we are going to discover pretty soon that we haven't got enough room between these sets of tiles. That's alright, we'll move it around. Ooh, I found a chapel. Mm -hmm. And there, oh, hang on. Ah, so we move this. When you discover tile. this tile, gain one sanity. That's very nice. Let's pop that up. And can I have an omen card, please? Oh, it's the third omen oh, card. Oh, men. Idol. The idol is made of a strange, worn stone. You can't quite make out what it is supposed to represent. Add one to the result of your might rolls. When you discover a tile with an event symbol, you may choose to not draw an event card. When this card, when this card is drawn, make a horn roll. Ignore this roll if the horn has already begun. So I need to roll three cards now because we've had three omens, right? I have a question. Sorry, before Ben lost. How do all the players know how many omens have been triggered? Because they're green? No. You have two. I'm not in the same room as you, I only have one. How do you know I've triggered an omen? Because we're all sat around the table playing it's the same game. It's not real life. You are really <laughs> into it too much. But I appreciate the... the That's all, I'm just making sure we're following it right. I thought it would, might be you'd only roll for oh. how many omens your character have described. Oh, no, no, no. So yeah, you, you are right in the way that you roll for the amount that are on the table. Okay. Oh, uh, bugger. Oh, five. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What happens now? Well, I'm excited. 
So on the card, it has a list of items, and it will tell you which haunt is going to be triggered based on the item. So what was that one that you pulled out? Was it the idol? Yes. So we are going to go to haunt 28. And the traitor is the haunt revealed. Ooh. Dun dun dun. So it's not supposed to be a secret then that I'm the traitor. Not okay. this one. Sometimes it is. Not today. Playing the haunt, the heroes and traitor read aloud the haunt's introduction and set up and then strategize privately. The haunt includes all the instructions you need to play it. You may attack when the haunt begins. I think before Ooh. we start the haunt, that's a pretty good place to wrap this up for this week. So come back next week when we get pretty fucking spooky. It's haunt time, bitches. <laughs> Get away faster. The dice are huge. The dice are actually really huge, aren't they? That's because you're very, very small. Go. Thank you. Well, my confidence is significantly not. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Okay. Oh, or whatever you want to say. Three, two, one. That didn't work! <laughs> Back or well? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do, but they're not coming back yet. Who's coming back? Welcome to the, for the first time. 